Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Ternata campaign here in EU4 Cossacks. So, um, fucking Brunei invaded us again, you know, why not? So that's annoying as shit. Um, we, do we still have that goddess that gives us dank bonuses? Yes, we do. Shakti, Shakti or whatever. So that's nice, I guess. Uh, we are just gonna have to wait for our navy to be uh, built up. Although I am a bit scared that these guys might try some landings in places they shouldn't. Like, are they... are you going on to the boat? Because I do not intend to have another one of those... Um, you know, that doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't want them to, you know, occupy my capital this time around. Also, let's get an explorer who, for the time being, will have to be a admiral. And also, this is kind of terrifying, because if they take this place right here... Okay, why are you just sitting there? Well, who knows? Yeah, so they took that immediately. I don't think there's anything we can do about Majapai raping our shit down there. We're just going to have to beat down uh, Brunei first. So I say we just send our army up here, and we begin working on that. Can I get one more unit, please? Yes. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Let's go into Dempt. It's not a good campaign without that. Oh, hello. Are we really losing? <gasps> what the hell? Really? Okay, well, that changes things. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't have any technology. Shit. Okay, cancel the unit, please. Uh, if I even can. Yeah, I can. Thank you. Fuck's sake. So that was a bit, that was a bit embarrassing. They shouldn't be able to move south though. Nah, they can't. Good. Well, we'll try that again. This time with, uh, you know, let's try and be a bit more prepared. Also, my navy is good enough. Let's go wreck theirs. It will suffice. Oh, you're just gonna pussy out. All right. Oh, let's chill actually. Uh, he shouldn't be able to attack me. No, he can't. Alright, we're going into debt. Uh, I hate you, Brunei. I hate you so much. Oh my god. Uh, stupid Majapai cooperating. Yeah, he shouldn't be able... Well, actually, here's the navy. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if the Brunei navy does not want to play, let's go try and wreck the Majapai one. I don't want them to get off their island. Stay on our island. And of course, now our income is even worse because of that colony. So I might actually... I think we sort of just have to ditch it for now, because it um, it is costing us. We can't be, can't be handled. Yeah, fuck it, let's just recall him. We honestly can't uh, pay for it. Uh, are we paying it? No, we're not paying anything for it now. Good. Because let's face it, we can't afford it. We're going to go far into Dempt in this one. Alright, let's go get some mercs real quick. Let's see if we can beat down their army with superior numbers. Who would have thought that would have become a Terranata strategy one day? But it is. What kind of crazy general do they have? They're not really that good one. Please win. Oh, fucking hell, you're gonna... No, no, you're gonna win. Good. Alright, sweet. Now, of course, the issue is that we cannot actually chase him down. Well, kind of, but not really. However, we can begin sieging his shit. And if I had my navy over here, I could have... Oh, hello, stupid navy. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Get over here. Yeah, they did. Well, defeated anyways. Guess that'll have to do. I guess where did that enemy army go? I don't know. <laughs> ah, getting themselves killed on the way over here. I'm actually sort of okay with that. I'm gonna... Send an army down, see if we can deal with them. Mm, that might have been a bad idea, I'm not sure. No, it worked out. Okay, good. Okay, they still got 3k there, though. Hmm. Yeah, I need my navy. Oh, for fuck's sake, they did land troops? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, let's work on these guys, and I need to find that dumb neighbor over there. So that was that was my fault. I should have just put my neighbor over here, honestly. Make sure they didn't do anything silly, which they did. Now they're taking my capital. That doesn't even have a proper fort. 
Yeah, I cannot afford to get this much worse or war exhaustion again. That nearly killed me last time. I think we're just gonna have to wait for these places to siege it before we can really do anything about this. And yeah, this right here is fine, I guess. They can we will be able to, you know, relatively easily take that place those places back. God, we're losing money though. I I I yeah, let's just wait. Alright, so this is scary. We have completely run out of manpower. That really will complicate this war. What is this war for anyways? Jess Sultan. Okay. Yeah, that is that is not good, because that really does limit our ability to siege. And I'm gonna have to start replacing my army with mercs. And that's not the most efficient way of doing things, I guess. Oh, please die. Please. Oh, you're gonna run away all the way over there. Annoying. Why won't your armies just die? Can I not select my army? What the hell? Paradox. Okay, there we go. Good. Uh, where did that guy go? Oh, he went on the boats. Well, see, I have boats too, you know. And I intend to kill your people. I'm not gonna let them win this. Mm, yeah, I do feel like I want to kill off this guy first. Although this is actually kind of terrifying. He's... Oh, mm. oh god, they're really occupying everything I own, aren't they? Yep, this is going pretty badly so far. But, ooh, navy. Oh, please get over there. No. That they guy, the, yeah, those guys still got off. Fucking hell. Oh, no, maybe they didn't. I'm not completely sure now. They will arrive at the Java Sea. Wow, we actually lost a boat? Interesting. Because their units are back, that means we can take back this place, most likely. Which is a comforting thought. Uh, let's leave a Merc to take back these places, and we'll go back to taking his cap. I know he still has units, and there they are indeed. Let's just hope we can win this. Please! Uh, lose money. Uh, I'll, even, I'll even lose its ability at this point, because I'm so poor. That might not have been worth it, probably not. Oh god, Rebels. Shit. Mm, yeah, our nation is kind of collapsing. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I need to reduce this madness. In some sort of effort. Okay, so what is this war about again? I forget. Jessilion? What even is that? Now this one. Well, why Why am I losing? Okay, I guess it is because they have taken all of this stuff down there. That would be why. Mm, I guess they're willing for a white piece, and I'm really tempted to accept that. I really am, because this is uh, kind of horrible right now, the position my nation is in. Yeah, this was a heck of a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. It's primarily because I have been really crap at using my navy properly, though. Uh, I say I decline, though, and we'll see what happens once I get their capital. Let's see if I can squeeze some more crap out of them. Maybe even try and retake my own capital. If anything, I want this alliance between them to break. That's the primary goal of right now. Ooh, what a brutal naval battle. But it had to be fought. Yeah, these black guys are... I guess we're just gonna have to accept the peasants revolting. Heck, if they take back my capital for me, I'll be okay with that. Oh, well, they did get that army over there, didn't they? Oof. 
Not good. Well, let's actually just sit here and wait and take the capital. I know I'm just digging myself even further into depth at this point, but... I want to actually achieve something in this war. Oh shit, now we have rebels. Okay, well now I'm even... More tempted to accept- oh, for fuck's sake, they revolted before these other guys? Ah. Oh. That sucks. Oh, hello! 17 all of a sudden. Okay, good. Now we might be able to ask for something. And all your treaties- Oh, yes. Okay, well, perfect. Can I do war operations? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Good. No land. Honestly, that's not my focus here. I just want this alliance to end. I want money so I can try and salvage my little kingdom here. And, uh, yeah, can I just ask for some money as well? Yeah, thank you. And, uh, yep, yeah, that'll be it. Ay ay ay, that was absolutely horrible. And now I really, well, I kind of just want to accept, honestly. Yeah, I feel like I'm just gonna accept. Rebels have won, yes they have. Stupid rebels. Reduce this, please. Very challenging campaign. I don't think I've, like, just played a campaign that's been this, like, constantly challenging. I don't think I have. Okay. Uh, put them together, I guess, or whatever. And we need some cavalry. By God, that's expensive. Ay ay ay. Yeah, getting rid of this 15 stack, that's gonna be a challenge, to say the least. I, I don't get this, like, route they're taking every time they're walking. Really weird. Well, that's just how they do it, I guess. Uh, much of pie heat. Yeah, I can't be having you. The nastiness I had to go through to kill them last time. Aye, aye, aye. How many? How far am I into debt at this point? Yeah, really far into debt. That sums it up. Okay, so he's gonna come in here and attack. It's not fine, it seems. Okay, hello. For some reason, super overpowered dude. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess he gets the technology. <sighs> God damn it. Pornian. Like, what, what will happen if I surrender here? Because I'm really, you know, not seeing how I can win this. See literally everything to Brunei. Eh. Not really what I felt like doing. I honestly do not see how I'm going to win this. I really don't. For fuck's sake. Keep fucking losing. There we go, here we have an opportunity where we can hopefully knock out one of those armies. Yep, there we go, good. Uh, let's retake this. And keep fighting. For fuck's sake, they're gonna attack me and guess who is not at all ready? Ugh. Maybe if I, I... I just... No, I really don't see how I'm gonna win this. Yeah, yeah, that didn't work. Retreat. Oh, wow, really? You're just chasing me down like that? Oh, wow, and you made me waste all my points. Oh, how fun. Alright, we're gonna try and go for the attack. Just fucking pray that this is gonna work. Oh, another pretender! Oh! No. For you know what? I think um I think the there's been oh I don't even know where to start. The amount of horrible things that have happened in this campaign holy crap you know what you know what I'm actually going to do I'm going to and see now we have a disaster as well yeah no this is um, this is not working out see what I think I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna make a magical jump cut where I am just gonna restart the campaign uh, I'm not gonna force you to watch that and I'm basically gonna play up to where we are now hopefully not sucking so much uh, because this is not this is not optimal 
Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So, editing magic! Brr! And we are back! It took two more tries, but this time things really did work out. Uh, so I learned a lot from my previous failures. And it seems like the trick is simply not having your king die, like, immediately. Or, I'm, yeah, without an heir. Uh, in this game I have had constant ears and I have an ear ready right now. No bullshit without, you know, no lack of legitimacy, no horseshit rebels in your capital, no crap like that. I did actually fail a little bit in this play, uh, in this attempt because I did, I was not able to get the Casaspelli I needed against Makassar. So I just did a no CB war and uh, it sort of worked out. And look how much it has worked out. Holy shit. It seems like it was a really good decision to focus on one of these two islands at once. Instead of trying to attack both Brunei and Majapahit at the same time, I decided to focus on one island at, at you know, at the time. Um, and also, a good thing about this was that I was able to attack Majapahit before they had uh, gotten the opportunity to annex Sunda. Which means I uh, was able to attack them while they were divided. So I wrecked uh, Majapahit using the same strategy I did previously. And then I, you know, took a bunch of land. And then I just straight up freaking annexed um, Sunda, became Hindu. I mean, look at this shit. I, I didn't even have to increase autonomy in um, in the Sunda lands. Because my army is freaking strong. Look at this shit. Got manpower. I don't know if I've built any buildings, but I can't remember, it doesn't really matter. I have one more ship than I had previously, and I have a full set of advisors that I can perfectly, you know, effectively afford. My inflation is not through the roof. I am making decent cash in trade. I have, I have, a, you know, actually had decent rulers, which means I got the missionary strength decision that I wanted, so I actually have decent missionary strength. So everything is uh, awesome and Hindu. Uh, sadly, these provinces became Muslim, but oh well, that we shall change. And look at this, even better is that it's only freaking 1490. I've already forgotten because it's actually, this is, I'm actually recording this the day after uh, uh, I, you know, had the last attempt. Um, but I, we were in the 1500s, I don't know how far into the 1500s we got, but uh, yeah, things have definitely worked out a heck of a lot better this time around. I feel like we've made just as much progress now as uh, we had in the previous attempt, or in, or the attempt before the, you know, previous attempt, I guess. Because in the, in the attempt right after the, uh, the one you just watched, I sort of got wrecked in the initial war. So, you know, it happens, you just, not a, you just get a hope for luck. And I was not lucky, but now I have been super lucky. Plus, I've actually, you know, not fucked up and done a bunch of stupid mistakes that I did in the um, in the other campaign. Uh, so I was considering playing a bit more on my own before I brought you guys in, but I, I felt like I wanted you guys to, you know, be able to witness the glory that is going to be the extermination of Majapahit. Invade! Ah! Kill! Murder! And annex. Goodbye, Majapahit. Fuck you. Please die. I'm actually gonna tear down this fort. And uh, this fort will be a reminder that Majapahit was a thing, but now we have properly exterminated them. Look at that revolt risk as well. I don't even know what I did in this campaign or in this attempt that was just so vastly superior to the previous one. I guess I have some ideas. I guess I did sort of explain parts of that. Alright then, now we need to plan our invasion of Brunei, because that's the next thing on the list. Alright Brunei, you're going down. I do also have some different plans for Brunei. I think I want to make the entire island into a vassal. Uh, because I want to be a bit careful about, you know, the sheer amount of uh, Muslim land I end up controlling. I mean, look at this madness. We even have better technology than they do. <laughs> I brag about that and then we actually lose the battle. <laughs> okay, never mind. Shit. Uh, first there is... Okay, I really struggle to understand exactly why we are fucking up so badly. Here we go, I finally defeated an army. Holy shit. <laughs> I love the way I start just like super bragging about how like strong I have become and... First I do is just massively fuck up. <laughs> right, so that was far too costly and horrifying and just... Oh my god, why? No manpower, no money. 
hopefully we can recover. So I'm going to take their capital because it has a trade thingy in it. I'm going to take three provinces, which hopefully will be enough to, uh, well, after I convert it to Hindu, to create a Hindu Kutai vassal that I can then feed the rest of this island, with the exception of the capital, as I do want to keep that for myself to get the dank trade. I'm also going to humiliate them in an effort to try and gain some more points. Uh, here we go. Yeah, there we go, huge amounts of power, power projection. We can do this thing. Uh, do I know exactly why? I don't care. Give me cheaper technology, yes. I am all about that. Uh, yes, so we can basically convert everything here with the exception of the capital and... That sucks, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's just spam autonomy everywhere because I am not feeling like dealing with revolts right now. Begin the coring process in the capital. And then we're just going to start converting these guys. One thing I did want to look into is trying to get a... Like, I want to recruit a minister. I, or an inquisitor, I mean. I want to, like, have a conversion dude just to speed these two things up a bit. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can get a way... Or see if I can figure out a way to do that. Right, so I've granted some land to the uh, Brahmins. So now we can recruit an inquisitor. So where are you at? I guess it's this guy. He's a level 2 of oh, a fuck's sake. Uh, well, I guess this is what we're doing now. Can't really waste this, but I really need money. Oh god, lower all the things. Oof. Okay, we can take our first idea group, and of course, once again, we're gonna go for exploration ideas. Of course, we all know about the glorious empire of Ming South China. <laughs> yeah, so the Ming are exploding, it seems. Oh, uh, that's good. I like that. I dislike this though. Japan too strong five me, but uh, they're far away, so hopefully they won't bother us. Hey, we have a new and shitty king. Go us! Look at that. We got an heir. Oh, Devi the mother. Who is that? Or what is? Ah, it's another one of these uh, withdrawing into contemplation thing. Well, we have we already have an heir with a strong claim, so um, I guess we will. Maybe we'll get some dank bonuses. Nothing quite like dank bonuses. Anyway, so now we have Gopi, the second Gopi. So now I am a bit conflicted. Do I just call this guy Gopi as well? So we'll have like Gopi the third. I think we probably will do that since I've already messed it up. Oh, not Gepi, for fuck's sake. Gopi. Yes, yeah, so we'll do like Gopi the third, Gopi the fourth, instead of just Gopi, 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 Gopi. I'm sure we will have another campaign where I can do that. But um, I forgot to name this guy Gopi, 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 instead of just Gopi. So I think this is how we're going to do it now. Right, there we go. We have converted the last province in Kutai Clay. Now, let's just pray that they will become Hindu when we release them. Yes, they will. Okay, very good. So, we will create Kutai as a vassal. They will follow the Hindu faith. There we go. Glorious, glorious. The Princedom of Kutai, the new vassal of the glorious Ternata Empire. Uh, so, when is our truce with the uh, scum of the earth over? In, uh, well, there's still some years left, but I think in the next war, could we just full annex? Or just full exterm- no, we'll have to do it in two wars, but we can pretty much feed them, you know, the majority of uh, their land in the next war. So now we can begin the process. Well, actually, I'm going to wait until the rebels are done. Uh, however, we have unlocked our first colonist. We are sending him to this island, primarily because there, are, there weren't that many natives here, so that we can more easily colonize the place. Uh, it's got, you know, okay development, I guess. Well, actually not. Not that good. <laughs> but it's easier. It, it allows me to use the native uh, repression policy thing. So that I can uh, get this thing growing faster. Because the stupid tropical thing is going to make it super slow anyways. Because it's really expensive. That Like, the problem about exterminating the natives and committing genocide and stuff like that is it's so expensive in terms of power points. It's all kinds of terrible. So yeah, we should probably start planning our war against these guys. I wait, can I fab Oh, I don't actually need to finish the freaking colony before I can fabricate claim. Okay, well, go me for using DAG strategies. Um, yeah, let's just go mental with the fabrications, pay down our debt, and brace ourselves for war. Yeah, these events are pretty darn good. Keep getting like awesome points and shit. Yeah, look at that. It's a random ass bo boost to our. That's a that is that is a huge boost. It is massively valuable, especially now that we're doing exploration. Alright, so we're getting ready for the war. However, I think we should end this episode here. It's probably been pretty long, although... What do I know? I've, I've been recording for forever anyway. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this episode, and until next time, bye.